Well, and speaking of Thanksgiving, I mean, we're getting really close to it at looking ahead towards next week. I'm sure a lot of you may have friends or family that are traveling into Northeast Ohio, or maybe you're traveling out of Northeast Ohio to go visit some loved ones. Keep in mind, we're in for a pretty active weather week here, especially looking ahead towards Tuesday and Wednesday of this next week. So that is the next thing we are first alerting you to. The big thing for the weekend, though, is just a bit more sunshine. Yeah, temperatures will be a little bit cooler. We'll actually call them seasonable for this time of the year, and we'll have a few clouds around but overall this is going to be a pretty nice weather weekend for us, especially considering the rain has come to a close and we're just considering nice sunshine through the rest of the weekend. Temperatures tonight eventually will dip into the mid 30s. It will still stay breezy winds north about 10 to 15 miles per hour and that's what's ushering in some of those cooler temperatures for us, but we will see those winds relax a bit as we go through your Saturday. So that's kind of some good news for us. We'll wake up with a few clouds around the area in spots. I don't think necessarily everybody's dealing with the cloud cover to get your day going and then you'll notice all that sunshine helps to warm those temperatures middle to upper 40s as we go through the day on Saturday. Then with a mainly clear sky in place again Saturday night, we're almost rinsing and repeating the same story for tonight again headed into tomorrow. Temperatures will be back into the mid 30s, so definitely some jacket weather if you're going to be out and about for your Saturday evening, but we'll wake up on Sunday with just a few clouds around the area. Temperatures back near 50 degrees and really no great chances for rain returning until we look ahead towards Tuesday. That's when the winds will start to pick up and really it's kind of that sign for us that things are really going to be changing pretty fast here as we approach Thanksgiving, and it's all because of this big area of low pressure that's going to be swinging through the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles and eventually working its way up to the north and bringing us that better opportunity for rain and of course increasing those wind speeds as well. So that's why we're saying travel may not necessarily be the best Tuesday into Wednesday, not to mention we're going to be talking some much colder temperatures here in the local area Wednesday into Thursday. So it's definitely going to be a bit more of a chillier Thanksgiving for us. But let's walk you through some of those rain chances with your future view. This is an early look. You can see Monday for the most part. We're staying pretty dry. The rain still sits down to our southwest, but it will become a bit more widespread as we go through the day on Tuesday. And at this time, we're just anticipating it to be a chillier rain. The cold air will be a bit delayed behind the system, so we're not talking any snowy impacts until we get closer to Wednesday. And really, that's as those winds start to come back out of the west northwest. And we know what that usually brings us this time of the year, at least the opportunity that we could see some lake effect snow, mainly on Wednesday. Dry air is going to be something we'll really have to watch as this system continues to exit our area. So right now we're calling for a dry Thanksgiving, but of course we still have some time before we get to Thanksgiving Day to iron out a lot of those details, but just some things to consider now especially if you're headed east of here, that's going to be a little bit of, I think, a, a troublesome uh, driving experience for you, especially on Wednesday between here and, say, Buffalo. Overnights are going to be pretty chilly as well. We're going to be back into the 20s, but once we get past Thanksgiving, looks like we bring back the sunshine next Friday and temperatures staying lower 40s.